it's Rachel Bicker again at the Forest Garden and tonight I'm going to demonstrate a moth trap. So my jobs are all done and I'm here to trap some moths tonight. So I recently acquired a moth trap. This is called a Skinner trap, a compact Skinner. It's made out of polycarbonate. It's got two actinic light bulbs. I'm not supposed to look at them directly and uh, that attracts in the moths, as you can see propylene and inside there's lots of egg boxes and this is for moths to scurry down into as they're attracted to the light they slip down so no one actually knows why moths come to light but it's a good job they do it makes it a very passive and easy way to survey them Ooh, weather's too bad for the Falcon rocket launch tonight. Traps are up, ready to go. No rocket launch tonight. Just have to be moths. Still no moths. So the first thing that's come in isn't a moth. It's a click beetle. Quite a big one. That's a female tawny owl. Don't know what that was. We got one! We got one! <gasps> I think this one is a white ermine. What going on now? Direction. That's more like it. And they're moths as well, mostly. This lovely one's a magpie. Cool. I don't know what that is, but I like it. Ooh, this one's a brimstone. Beauty. A lovely cinnabar moth, which are normally only see in the daytime. This is the one with the black and yellow striped caterpillars that you see on ragwort. Ready, go! There's a super big one. Ah! ah. It's close to midnight. It's got quite busy in here. I'm a little bit worried. I'm gonna have to process all this on my own. Oh god, run out of pots. Ah, so many now. <laughs> I've not even opened the trap yet. Ah, being attacked by a mob. There's quite a few things in here, so it's going to take me some time to pot them all up. I'm going to take them home, and then I'd eat them tomorrow morning with a cup of coffee. So here we go. A lot of moths. I've tried to just bring back one of each species, but bound to be duplicates in there. So this is the Moth Bible. It's the field guide to the moths of Great Britain and Ireland. Paul Waring and Martin Townsend. And it's a lovely, very pictographic guide and um, really helpful for species identification. And then it also has individual species accounts for every single one. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna be here some time. Good morning. This is a elephant hawk moth. Always lovely to get a hawk moth in a trap. 
It's the only one I caught last night. Finding this one really tricky, I think it's the shoulder striped clover. These little carpet and pug ones are quite challenging as well. Is that a yellow barred brindle? I think this one's got to be the orange footman. I really like this one. I've never seen it before. I think it's the black neck. Cheeky black neck. Ooh. Got away from me. The flame. It's not very flamey. T minus 20 seconds to launch. The light emerald. This is the more common type of snout. Simply called snout. That is a really nice moth. That is a netted pug. Cool, so that's my lot. 26 species, which hopefully isn't too bad for just one small moth trap. So you can learn more about moths if you're interested on this fantastic app called What's Flying Tonight. If you just Google that and moths, it'll bring up all the species that you have in your local area that are out on the wing and you might bump into. To learn more about moths in general, it's uh, best to go to the Butterfly Conservation website, have a look at their moth section there. Thanks for listening. <laughs>